I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On Thursday, Senator Amy Klobuchar praised the Inflation Reduction Act. Proponents of the bill say it will address prescription drug prices, climate change, and inflation. But Republicans are hesitant that the bill can live up to those promises. Democrats are hoping to hold a vote on the bill this weekend before their August recess. Klobuchar said she can't wait to see Republicans return home and explain why they are, quote, on the wrong side. Excellent. Um, well, for the young people up here, this is a great lesson in government. Never give up. I think so many people had counted us out on this bill. Maybe a few members of the media. I don't know. But we stuck with it. Why? Because we had constituents, we had people in our country that said, be on our side. And we did it. As the forest fires are burning in Alex's home state of California, as we see record temperatures all over the U.S., including in my home state of Minnesota, we moved and we're going to bring greenhouse gases down 40 percent by the year 2030. That is number one. Number two, and this is something so near and dear to my heart, I have been working on this since I got to the Senate, did one of the first bills out there, and that is to bring down the cost of prescription drugs. And every night when I go home and I watch the TV, have you guys seen the pharma ads? They're running those ads to the very end. And it is the same companies that put in place into law 20 years ago a provision that banned Medicare from negotiating less expensive drugs for the people of America banned them out flat. Well, the VA, and we want to help our veterans, we're so glad they got this deal, we're able to negotiate, not for the 46 million seniors of this country. Right into law they got it, and they're fighting till the very end. Well, guess who else is fighting? We are fighting, and we're not going to give up. So now when I watch those ads, I just go, have fun. Because we are united on bringing down the cost of prescription drugs um, with major blockbuster drugs right at the start. It's finally going to be lifted, the ban. That, bringing down inflation, $300 billion in debt reduction. I can't wait for not only to go home and show our constituent what we did, I can't wait to see the Republicans go home and explain why they are on the wrong side on reproductive freedom, why are they are on the wrong side on climate change, why they are on the wrong side on costs for families like pharmaceuticals, and why they delayed the burn pit bill from getting passed. All of that, there's accountability in politics like we just saw in Kansas. And we are delivering. With 